I'm going to do a room tour. I'm on the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas. I'm in room 8356. It's a balcony room. Look down the hallway. It's Saturday night. People are taking their luggage. The people that are going to have someone else take them off the ship. They're putting their luggage outside and then they will take them to the other side and then people will pick it up kind of like you do at an airport. But I'm going to go on the door. This first thing that you get to is a closet and there's clothing and there's also a safe in there. Here you see the basic room and when I first saw it it was much larger than I honestly thought it was going to be. I'll go back towards the front. There's the door. They bring robes for you to wear. I'm going to go ahead and go into the restroom since it's at the very beginning. As you can see here, it's very small, but it has a whole bunch of mirrors in it. As you can see, the toilet is extremely small. I'll walk in and you'll kind of get an idea. The shower is small as well. But honestly, um, it's all you really do need. You can't really, you know, if you drop something, it's kind of an issue. That's that's about it. Here's the toilet. If you've never been in a you know, cruise ship, it's it's very it's very small and I'll flush it one time just so you can hear it just kind of like it's crazy. So I'm going to leave the bathroom, go into this part. As you can tell, there's mirrors here. And here there's storage. They kind of have several areas where they have little areas where you can put things. Because the rooms aren't the biggest, but honestly, they aren't the smallest either. Here's a sofa. It's my understanding this sofa can turn into a bed. Never tried it several drawers. There's also a refrigerator, but it's a refrigerator it has items in it that you have to pay for. So there's the water and Cokes and all different sorts of snacks and things, but never purchased anything in the mini bar. Because I figure much like a lot of other things on the, on the ship, it would be very expensive. Here are the beds, the bed. Now I'll we'll turn back around and just show you from the other angle. Again, it's not a very big room, but all things considered, I was kind of surprised at how large it was. It's nighttime, so you really can't see. But outside there's a balcony. You can go out there and see the ocean, but this time of night you couldn't see it. So that's everything in this room. All in all, considering things that I heard, you know, it's plenty big. Went on tours in some other rooms and went to the presidential suite as well, and it was just huge. Could sleep like 12 or 14 people had four bedrooms, some of them with bunk beds. This worked well for me. That's everything.